वेलकम टू डिकोड मैनिया आई एम साहिल एंड यू आर वाचिंग ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट यूजर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विथ एडमिन पैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव सीन दैट आई हैव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन एडमिन पैनल इन विच आई हैव डिजाइन दिस एडमिन लॉग इन पेज नाउ टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एडमिन टेबल एंड देन हाउ टू मेक दिस लॉग इन फॉर्म फंक्शनल ओके सो फर्स्ट ओपन यूर पी एच पी माई एडमिन एंड दिस इज आवर डेटा बेस डी बी अंडर स्कोर यूजर अंडर स्कोर सिस्टम सो इन साइड दिस डेटा बेस आई विल क्रिएट ए न्यू टेबल सो क्लिक ऑन न्यू एंड हेयर आई विल नेम द टेबल एडमिन एंड नाउ फर्स्ट कॉलम विल बी आई डी टाइप विल बी इन लेंथ इलेवन नाउ मेक दिस कॉलम ऑटो इंक्रीमेंट एंड प्राइमरी ओके नाउ सेकेंड कॉलम विल बी यूजर नेम एंड टाइप विल बी वर्कर लेंथ विल बी टू फिफ्टी फाइव नेक्स्ट कॉलम विल बी पासवर्ड टाइप विल बी वर्कर लेंथ विल बी टू फिफ्टी फाइव ओके नाउ क्लिक ऑन सेव so here you can see this admin table is created now here what i will do is i am going to insert a admin detail into this admin table so click on insert and here in username i am going to write username as admin and in password uh, i will select here as h1 function and then here i will also use same admin as password okay now click on go and if we click on browse then here you can see there is one row with username admin and password is also admin okay now let's open your project so here you can see this is the index fi index.php file of admin login page okay now first what i will do is i will create some files in this php folder okay so let's create a new file that is config.php file okay now again create a new file uh, admin hyphen action dot php okay now create one more file admin hyphen db dot php file okay now next what i will do is let's open this assets and go to this php folder and open this config dot php file okay now here you can see i have created a class database in which i have defined some functions for database uh, connectivity and some other function for utility purpose okay so i will just use all these codes so just copy all and uh, come to this config.php file and paste all the codes here okay select php save i will use same uh, database connectivity in this uh, config.php file also and i will uh, i will also use these function like test underscore input so message and this time in ago function in this admin panel also okay now next what i will do is just close this config.php file close this style.css file also now next what i will do is i will uh, go to this admin dot uh, sorry admin hyphen db.php file and here what i will do is i will first write some php code here now first what i will do is i will include the config.php file here in admin hyphen db.php file okay so here i will use require require underscore once and here i will write config.php file okay now next i will create another class and class will be add bin admin and this class will extends database class okay 
and database class is already created sorry let's collapse this now here if you come to this config.php file then here we have already created this database class okay so i am extending this database class here in admin hyphen db.php file okay now next next i will create a method for admin login okay so here i will just write some comment first admin login okay and here i will write public function admin underscore login okay admin underscore login and here i will pass two parameter that will be user name and uh, password okay now inside this function i will declare one variable sql and in this variable i will write sql query so just write select username comma password from admin admin is the table name that we have just created here okay now next i will write where username equal to placeholder username and password equal to colon password okay now let's declare one more variable that will be statement variable now using this keyword we have to access this con variable that is already declared in config.php file you can see here public con okay and this con variable uh, returns the database connectivity by using this constructor method okay so i am using con here now using this i will use prepare function and here i will use sql variable okay next we have to execute the statement so just use same statement variable and then just use execute method and here we have to bind the parameters so just use username placeholder and then bind with the value so value is username now next password bind with password value okay now now this a query return some row okay so we will grab the row in this row variable using statement and then here i will use fetch method and then i will use here pdo fetch underscore is sock sorry a sock okay fetch a sock property now here i will use return row okay so for login this function is required okay so next what i will do is i will go to index.php file and here first i will send an ajax request to the server okay with all the form details okay so here just below this script tag i will just use another script tag and here what i will do is i will first use document dot ready function now inside this document dot ready function i will send an ajax request so uh, here you can see i have given this input field that is uh, a button and uh, this input field has an id with value admin login btn okay so i will use this id here so just select and uh, then i will use click event function now use a parameter here now next what i will do is i will first check the validity of the form so here i will use if then select the form okay so admin 
hyphen login hyphen form is the id given in form tag you can see here okay so i'm using this id here to select the form now next just use zero here and we'll use a method check validity okay validity now next we will use e dot prevent default method to stop page refresh when we click on login button here if we come here then when we click on login button then we first prevent this page to refresh okay so i am using this method here prevent default now next just use this and uh, i will change the text or uh, this login text when user uh, sorry when admin click on this login button then first we will change this text to please wait okay so here just write please wait and now here i will use ajax function to send ajax request okay so here i will use url now in url i will write assets slash php slash admin admin hyphen action dot php file okay and this file is already created you can see i have created this file admin hyphen action dot php file inside this php folder that is present inside this asset folder okay so we have to write this path here okay now next we will use method property and in method i will use post and next data so we will send the form data so just select the form again using admin a login form and here i will use serialize serialize function and i will also send an extra string with this form data okay so here i will use ampersand action equal to admin login okay now next i will use success function and here i will use a parameter response for now i am just using console.log to display the response okay now save this now what we have to do next is just come here in this admin uh, hyphen action.php file now here just write php tag and first we have to use we have to include admin hyphen db.php file in this uh, file okay so here just use require underscore once and here just write admin hyper db dot php file okay now next we have to create an object of this admin class okay so for this here i will create admin object okay and here i will write new and just write the class name admin okay now here we have to write some php code to handle this ajax request that is coming from this index.php file okay so here i will write some comment first handle admin login ajax request okay and here what i will do is i will use if is set and here i will use super global variable post and i will use action and then i will check the value of action if the value of action is admin login then only this if statement will be executed okay now here what i will do is i will create two variable first is username and here uh, let's remove this first i will check that all the form data is coming or not so here i will use print r sorry print underscore r function and here i will use post method and save just come here open your console 
and next what I will do is just write something like admin and some password click on login so we have to refresh this now write admin some password now here you can see in console we are getting the response uh, username is admin and password this okay so our ajax function is working fine now next what we have to do is just come here and we have to grab the value of input field in some variable so just create username variable and using admin admin object we will use test underscore input function okay and here in this we will use super global variable and here we have to write username now similarly for password i will create password variable and using admin object we will use test underscore input and then here i will use post and then password okay now here i i have to have the password in sha1 function because here in table we have inserted password using sha1 function okay so here also we have to use another variable h password h h password equal to sha1 function and here just pass password variable okay now next what i will do is i will create another variable that is logged in admin logged in admin equal to admin object and using this object i will use admin underscore login function that i have already defined here in admin hyphen db dot php file okay so i am using this function here and here just pass username and this h password variable okay now next what i will do is i will use a condition if logged in admin not equal to null it means some user is found in database then we will use echo and then we will send some string to the client so here i will write admin underscore login okay admin underscore login and i will also store a i will also store the username in session okay so here i will use session variable and here just write the session name and just store the user name okay and what in case if no user found in the database so here i will use echo and then i will uh, call the so method function and here we have to use two actual parameter danger and here message so here just write username or password is in correct okay so let's check this so here i am using this session super global variable that's why here we have to use session sorry session start function at the top okay now let's come here refresh open your console okay now let's write the username admin and password let's write some wrong password and click on login so here you can see this alert coding is coming in response that username or password is incorrect okay and let's write a correct one so just here i will write admin and click on this then here you can see we are getting this admin underscore login uh, string from the server okay so now what i will do next is just come here and go to index.php file now here what i will do is in success function just 
remove this console dot log and here we will check the response using if and response is equal equal to admin underscore sorry admin underscore login if response from the server uh, will admin underscore login then in this case what we will do is we will redirect this page to some other page and here I will write admin hyphen dash dashboard dot php okay so here when uh, when user uh, sorry when admin login successfully then we will redirect to another page that is admin uh, admin uh, hyphen dashboard dot php file okay and uh, if there is another uh, response then we will just display in the ad, uh, index dot php file page okay so here i will write admin uh, login alert and here i will use html sorry html and just pass the response here and i will also change the uh, login button text again to uh, login okay so here we have to select the admin login button and then using well function we will again change the text to login okay so for now this file is not created so we have to create this file so just copy the file name and create this file inside this admin directory okay so just create new file and so this file is created inside this admin folder okay so let's try to okay so we have to do one more thing we have to create this uh, div somewhere in the form so here i will just create a div with uh, sorry with id admin login alert okay save this now come here refresh just close this console now here just write admin and some wrong password then click on login so here you can see username or password is incorrect okay now if i write uh, uh, correct password also and click on login then you can see the user is redirected to admin hyphen dashboard uh, dot php file okay so this is working fine now there is one problem here if any uh, if any user just uh, write index dot php file here then it come back to the index dot php file okay so to fix this let's come to index dot php file and at the top we have to write some php script so here just use session sorry session start okay and using if condition we will check if it's set and we will check the session variable if session variable username is set then we will use header uh, function okay header function and here i will write location location admin hyphen dashboard dot php file okay and here we will write exit so if you refresh then you can see uh, in case of uh, username is set in the session then we are automatically redirected to this admin uh, hyphen dashboard dot php file okay and uh, when an user uh, sorry when an admin log out from this page then only the admin can go to index dot php file again okay so here uh, let's create a logout dot php file for logout from the dashboard okay so for this what i will do is just inside this php folder let's create a new file logout sorry logout.php 
file and inside this just here I will use session start first okay and here I will use unset function and I will unset the session variable username okay username and in case I will use header function and I will use local uh, sorry location location and uh, we have to come back to index.php file when someone log out from the dashboard okay so for this uh, this file logout.php file is inside this php folder so we have to go back twice okay and then write index.php file save this now come to admin dot uh, admin hyphen dashboard dot php file and here i'm just creating a anchor tag and here i'm writing assets slash php slash logout dot php okay and here just write logout okay save now if we come here and let's click on logout so now you can see we are again come back to this uh, index.php file and if you try to access admin hyphen dash board.php file from uh, admin.php file then we are again uh, redirected to admin uh, hyphen dashboard.php file okay so for to fix this issue what we have to do is just come here and here what i will do is i will use php script here session start and then i will check if it's set if it's set and then i will use super global session variable username username okay so here i will use if this session is not set then in case i will use header function and again i will use location here and this will be redirected to index.php file okay so if we replace here now let's try to log in admin okay now here you can see we have just redirected to this admin hyphen dashboard.php file okay now let's try to access index.php file from the url then you can see we cannot access index.php file until we log out okay so let's create uh, sorry click on logout and now let's try to access admin hyphen dashboard from the url and let's see what happens so uh, without log logged in we cannot access admin hyphen uh, dashboard.php file okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to design admin dashboard page so thanks for watching this video please like share this video and also subscribe my channel see you soon in next video